Brett Gibson, CEO of Malabar RSL, thank you for your time. Um, just a couple of questions about the armed robbery training you conducted here at Malabar RSL. Um, so first question was, what was the obstacles that have prevented you pre uh, from purchasing the course initially? Uh, probably look at initially, uh, there was the cost involved um, and like a lot of club managers, I probably thought armed um, hold up would never happen here. Sure. Um, but when it did happen, um, it really made me thankful that one, I'd done the course and most of the staff that were involved had done the course as well. Right. Um, and did you see armed robbery as an issue that needed to be addressed, obviously before the armed robbery as well? No, look, we're a small to medium sized club, very, very local community. I didn't think we were that large a target, yep. but obviously I was wrong. And um, if you look at the way the industry's going, there's more and more smaller clubs getting hit at the moment. So I think everybody out there's got a uh, question mark hanging over them and they have to be prepared. Right. Um, and why did you choose the armed robbery course? Uh, well, it to me when I had a gun held at my head. Yep. So I knew that it worked from experience and that even though when you're sitting down doing the course, you'll think this will never happen to me or how much of this will I remember. Mm -hmm. It was amazing how much you do remember and um, how that instinct kicks in when it needs to. Right. Um, and what specific features did you like most about the both the face to face and the online course? Well, that's pretty simple. Um, there's no rocket science involved. It's just going back and thinking about okay, here's the situation. What's the very very best you can do to protect yourself, protect the staff in an instance and keep the hold up, well the person who's doing the hold up as calm as possible so they can get out of here as quickly as possible. Right. And um, who would you say the actual online induction is suitable for? I'd say it's everybody in the club. In the initial hold up that we had here there was myself, an office person, a bar person and a cook involved and in the second one uh, it was done through a break in before the club opened and a cleaner was involved in that one. So you're really looking in that situation, it's every person in the club should be doing it. So would you recommend the course at the end of the day? Definitely. As I said, I was fairly skeptical when I first did it, thinking, will this help? Um, how much of it will I remember in a critical situation? But after being there and as I said, having the gun held to my head, it's amazing how much kicks in and uh, how calm I did stay while it was all happening. Great. And um, with the actual program itself, do you think it's helped your staff in identifying threats? Um, one, it's given them a lot more confidence um, just to actually sit down and spend half an hour, an hour thinking about what they will do in that situation. and it. Obviously after the first um, hold up, the staff were on edge yep. um, and during the second hold up, the three people that came in to do the second hold up all scoped the place the week or two weeks before and every one of those people were identified by the staff, their sign in sheets were pulled and those records were available for police when they did the investigation on the second holder. Right. And lastly, um, out of a scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate the course and give reasons why? As I said, um, I'd give it a 10. Yeah. I have to because there was two hold-ups, nobody was hurt, um, there was no shots fired, there were no patrons injured, so we got out of it with the best case scenario. Um, the staff are now more confident, they know what to expect, they know how to act if the situation arises again and probably more important than anything, they're more conscious of the fact that it can happen and what to look for and um, also the procedures we put in place now make us a lot harder target. To hit so all round it's uh, good information plus it just builds your own personal awareness so that you know what's going on right well thank you for your time Pleasure.